this is the another problem in the concept of integrating factors c solve y into log y whole dx plus x minus log y whole into dy is equal to 0 here also given differential equation is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 so first of all check that whether the given equation is exact or not okay once again, please write the given differential equation in the solution. You can take this is equation number 1. Okay. Here what is m? y log y. Okay. And what is capital N? This term. x minus log y. Okay. So, calculate dou m by dou y. What is dou m by dou y? Partial differentiation of m with respect to y only. Okay. Here, we have y into log y. So, you should apply product rule in the derivatives. Derivative of y with respect to y is 1, 1 into v. So, you should write log y plus y into derivative of log y is 1 by y. So, y y getting cancelled. So, log y plus 1. And uh, what is dou n by dou x? Only x is the variable. So, partial derivative of x with respect to x is only 1 and partial differentiation of log y with respect to x is completely 0 because this is entire term becomes constant, its derivative is 0. So, this is 1 and this is 1 plus log y. So, we conclude that dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. So, given equation number 1 is non exact. Given equation number 1 is non exact. No doubt at all. Okay, so we have to find out the integrating factors. For the getting the integrating factors, we should observe the structure of the given differential equation. Clearly, we are observing that given equation is not homogeneous. That's why 1 by mx plus ny is not an integrating factor. And also, it is not in the structure of y into something dx plus x into something dy is equal to 0. That's why 1 by mx minus ny is also not an integrating factor. First two types of fails. Okay, we don't know whether type 3 is satisfied or not. So, you should get value of, you should check the value of 1 by n whole into dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x first. Okay, see here what is 1 by n? 1 by x minus log y 1 minus 1 by x minus log y whole into dou m by dou y it would be log y min plus 1 minus 1 of course 1 1 getting cancelled the result is log y by x minus log y here we are observing that y variable is not eliminated from this result that's why this is the result of this one is not a function of x Okay, if it is only function of x, then we can use the type 3 to get the integrating factor. Okay, now we have to check another value which is 1 by capital M whole into dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y. You should check that this quantity. Okay, what is 1 by m? 1 by y into log y. 1 by y into log y whole into what is dou n by dou x, it is only 1, minus dou m by dou y, it is minus 1 minus log y, minus 1 minus log y, we are observing that plus 1 and minus 1 getting cancelled, so the result is minus log y by y into log y, so log y log y also getting cancelled, the result is minus 1 by y, we are observing that the result of this entire quantity is only in terms of y, so we can use the integrating factor from type 4. So, what is it? Whenever the result is a function in y only, integrating factor is e power integration of f of y dy. It would be e power integral minus 1 by y dy. So, e power, what is integrating? Uh, integral 1 by y, log y, minus is there. That is why it is e power log y power minus 1. It would be 1 by y. Okay, by using the properties of logarithmic functions, we are getting this. Integrating factor is 1 by y. After getting the integrating factor, immediately we should multiply the given non-exact equation with this integrating factor. Now, multiply, multiply equation 1 with this integrating factor, which is equal to 1 by y on both sides. 
So, this new equa this equation number 1 becomes to another new differential equation C. 1 becomes to y into log y by y. So, y by getting cancelled, you have only log y dx plus x minus log y whole by y into dy is equal to 0. So, no doubt at all, 2 is exact now. Okay. Here, what are the new terms? m1 is equal to log y and what is n1? Separate the terms. So, x by y minus log y by y. Okay. So, what is the general solution of an exact equation? The general solution of the required differential equation is integration of m1 dx. You should write for this formula for every problem. Okay. m1 dx integral terms of n1 terms of n1 not containing x not containing x whole into dy is equal to c okay replace the values integration of m1 what is m1 log y into dx okay plus don't write all terms of n1 so here terms of n1 uh, first term contains x so don't take this one and the second term does not contain any x that is why you should take second term including negative sign minus log y by y into dy is equal to c. I will write the integration on that side c. So, here integration of log y dx log y is the constant term that is why right outside of the integration log y into integration 1 dx. Okay, plus into minus minus and I will write this log y by y as log y into 1 by y dy is equal to c. Okay, clearly integral 1 dx is x. So, this term can be written as log y into x but do not write in that way write x into log y x into log y minus clearly here we are observing that this integration is in the form of integration f of y whole power n into f dash of y ok clearly derivative of log y is 1 by y derivative of log y is 1 by y that is why we can use this result what is the answer f of y whole power n plus 1 by n plus 1 by using this formula you will get log y whole square by 2 log y whole square by 2 is equal to c this is the required general solution of given differential equation in this way we can get the general solution of given differential equation in the next video i will give some more problems on the concept of integrating factor thank you very much